Welcome back to the shopping channel and welcome to my favorite part of the week, wine time. And it is my absolute privilege and pleasure to welcome David Babbage, who is representing the Babbage family estate uh, winemaking dynasty to the show. And, and David, welcome. Thank you, Peter. Great to be here. You, you have the most wonderful story to tell about, and now just correct me if I'm wrong, three, you're the third generation? That's right. Three yes. generations of continuous family winemaking tradition. Wow, that, that's got to be very, very special in New Zealand. Yeah, well, you learn a few things over three generations of winemaking, mm -hmm. and I think winemaking really is a, uh, a skill set around experience. Uh, now, who are we looking at here? Uh, this is my grandfather and his brothers. So this is the original Babbage this grandfather, is, this is Joseph. The, this is the team that came out to New Zealand. How did they do that? Well, they were born in Croatia and it was, uh, you know, it was quite a poor country. <laughs> and they, my great-grandparents decided they should send their boys away. They were farmers and they're farming, but the farm's not going to support six boys. They had six boys, no girls. And uh, this is my grandfather at the end of his life. So that's uh, Joe. Yeah, he's, he's 84 in this uh, photo. Wow, wow. And <clears throat> so he, uh, he came out when he was 14. My great-grandparents immigrated their boys uh, fairly early on in their lives, uh, so they would have you know, a whole working life ahead of them. And my grandfather uh, got to New Zealand, and he was a gum digger with his brothers. Uh, this is in 1910, planted grapevines, and a few years later started making wine. So in 1910, they started, what, growing wines in Auckland or yes. in Northland? Uh, in, in Northland initially. Yes. But in 1911, mm. they bought the property that we're on in Henderson now. They bought that with proceeds of gum digging. Goodness so, me. And that's, yeah. that's the original that's, that's winery here. in Henderson. Yes. Goodness me, and that is the absolute forerunner. I can only think of the Mission Estate in Hawke's Bay that would be older than this, than this winery. Yes. Yeah, that photo there uh. was uh, taken in, in 1939. That's, that's a remarkable story, and, and what I love about it is that all of you, all of you, have worked with this absolutely unmitigated passion. Yes. Yeah, I think winemaking takes a lot of passion. You've really got to love the product, you've got to love the process, you've really got to enjoy being in vineyards, uh, getting these grapes to do what you want them to do, and, uh, and bringing that through to a product that people try in the bottle. So, now, we've got here today a wine that I understand is, is absolutely outstanding. Now, this is... It, first of all, I love the label. It's a very sort of classic European label. Babbage Family Estate Organic Block Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc 2011. Now, tell me a bit about this. Actually, it's 2012. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the, the Organic Block is a... Uh, it was actually a paddock that we purchased. We thought it would be great for growing grapes on. So we, we bought this block uh, a few years back. We were interested to set up a uh, organic vineyard, so we planted it and run it as an organic vineyard from, the, in from Marlborough. day one. Yes, in Marlborough. Yes. So you've got that classic vista of Marlborough, and it's absolutely what you imagine a winery to look like down there. Absolutely, yeah. But and you you have the added advantage and the added skill of the organic uh, elements. Now tell me a little bit about organic grape growing. What's involved? Well, there's obviously there's uh, no chemicals used that aren't allowed. Well, you could spray things on like uh, copper sulfate or All something, right. so which natural, is very completely yeah, natural, natural products. Natural products only. Yes. So you end up taking care of weeds with uh, cultivation. So there's a lot more hand work in the vineyard and pulling weeds out and that sort of thing. Yes. Not, not done with mm. chemicals. But now I see we've got sheep. Yeah, they they are uh, so they're the, the lawn. So they're the weed eaters. Yeah, they can be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably organic as well. Yeah, they're organic as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so there is a bit more work in it, but what we what we love about it is the product that comes out the other end uh, is is fantastic. I absolutely agree. So is this the first of the organic uh, registrations for the Babbage family? Yes, it is. Yes, this is our first vineyard that is organic, 
and and clearly you have developed. Now, there's a marvellous story about exporting wine. How, yes. d tell me about this. Well, the New Zealand industry is strongly export these days, yes, yeah. but it had to start somewhere. And uh, our own story with exporting uh, was that a German guy walked into the wine shop and, and my father was serving in the wine shop. This is in 1980. And this guy tried our wines, really liked them, and said, look, can I, can I buy some of this wine to take back to Germany? And Dad <laughs> no, thinks he wants, this is true. This yeah, is he thinks true. he wants a case of wine, you know. And uh, Dad said, how much do you want to buy? I want to buy a container. A, a thousand container? Cases. Yeah. A container? Yeah, export a, a whole container, a <laughs> 20-foot container. <laughs> so he has Dad's attention. And yeah. uh, so Dad says, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we, can, uh, we can sell you this wine. And uh. the guy makes contact next week, pays for the wine, we export this. And that wine uh, left our place in, uh, in 1980 and my grandfather was still alive and it's trundling up the road, my grandfather's watching it. And for him, it was a great, uh, probably the highlight of his career. He'd come out 70 years earlier and and now uh, he was sending wine back to Europe. That essential circle, I mean, wow, that must have been such an emotional buzz for, for your grandfather and, and for the family, I would imagine. Now, so this wonderful, wonderful wine is, um, is when did you release this? this? This was released about a month ago, the 2012 vintage. Just freshly released. So it's a brand new wine. Yes. It's got this wonderful. I, I'm really impressed with your with your new labelling. Yes. Well, the label is quite a busy label, but the wine has a lot to say. I mean, it's an individual vineyard. It's it's mm. a state grown. It's on the headwaters vineyard. It is organic, so we have the bio grow symbol on there. Right. Yes. Yes. And I, so that's just that one there, isn't it? Yes. 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 So um, I just I I mean. As a family, as a family, how many more generations are going to come into Babbage? Well, I've got the next generation underway with three children. They're still uh, seven years and younger, so not... Uh, are they working in the, in the winery? Uh, it's, uh, I don't think that's allowed at the moment. Oh, at right, OK. But, uh, give, me, so, give them a few years. So, so David, the, the Babbage Family Estate Organic Block Sauvignon Blanc 2011. Yes. Six bottles packaged and it's a hundred and twenty dollars delivery within 72 hours the shopping channel dot co dot nz and you can go online and register now and get this outstanding new zealand wine delivery within 72 hours anywhere throughout new zealand a hundred and twenty dollars for the six that is just the most wonderful wonderful value the Babbage Family Estate Organic Block Sauvignon Blanc, the 2011 vintage. David, it has been a pleasure, an absolute pleasure having Same. you here. Thank you, Peter.